Okay, it's the end of the day on Code with Mike Friday, and I didn't get a lot of coding done today, but I did do a critical proof of concept, which is that QEMU can still run on the Macintosh, even Yosemite. I did the Yosemite upgrade today, and the trick was I did the Q install, which I had downloaded from off of the Q website, which people who research QEMU on Mac often get led to this incredibly archaic version. I loaded that and uh, approved doing it. I created this using the uh, tiny core Linux core hyphen current.iso, which is a tiny like eight uh, megabyte file. It's still one of the best uh, tiny Linux distros out there. And uh, I got it to boot, and it's uh, Core 5.4, Linux kernel 3.8. This is all pretty modern stuff. I might have some issues getting a modern uh, Python on it, but I think it might be there. So at any rate, that proved that it could run. Now I had a problem in that <clears throat> when I chose the export option, which by the way was when you go in here, and you got something running, you can, uh, come on, come on. It's not exactly the most optimized code in the world, but it has that multi-platform stuff. You can export guest to flash PC drive, which I did to my desktop that created this. That catches you up with where I am with experiments. Now, ejecting the queue uh, disk image. Now, this is flying solo, essentially. Double click, doesn't do it. But what I did is I, <coughs> I CD'd into the location of the QEMU binary, and then I put that uh, current microcore ISO next to it, and then I went with the command line into that location, and then I typed the simplest command to attempt to start off of the CD-ROM, and bam, success as a standalone uh, QEMU uh, bundle. Uh, even though I don't have it all wired up exactly correctly, this is an enormous first step to breathing life back into Levinix. It's sort of a, you know, two steps back, one step forward. I'm going to be rebuilding Levinix from scratch, g given the magic mix of stuff that I know works. And the Mac stuff is always the foundation that you work from because that gives you this really nifty, uh, you know, bundle package where a double click will, can actually simply run it. And uh, it's on one, what I consider to be one of the most important platforms for people investigate or who will want to use Pipulate. Also, Windows people will want to use Pipulate and people with a Linux desktop, they can figure out how to run it native. But I'll probably get Linux run, <coughs> running native on Linux desktops as well. But uh, this is where I start now, and it'll probably take another Code with Mike Friday, starting right out with a mission of creating my new Linux. So what I'm probably going to do is go into my Dropbox and uh, drop this thing uh, there so that I have a nice starting point from whatever machine I sit down at next. Pretty uneventful video, but there you have it. Uh, tiny core Linux running as a command line in uh, Yosemite. That'll be uh, my starting point uh, when next I start coding. Uh, at least on a Code with Mike Friday where I can do the kind of focus required for Levinix. I might do touch-ups to the system itself at work during the week. Thanks for joining me. Hope to see you again soon. And don't forget to subscribe.